Good morning, my wonderful friends. You're going to flip when you see this. Now, anybody who's been around here understands about the no-toes. We have new species called no-toes. We have several different designs of them. I mean, I'm not kidding. It's amazing. And where do you show? I'm going to show you tissues and, and so forth. Now, what do we have here? Where do you see this thing? This is from Boston Dynamics. And it's a, it's a pretty interesting little device, almost like a human. Here it goes. Watch this. This thing's amazing. <laughs> now, the no-toes we have, who's to say they couldn't do something like that? But ours are not completely robotic. Ours are semi-humanist type structure. I don't know specifically, but this thing, uh, this thing's pretty serious. And who's to say they didn't have the same thing then? Look at this. Pretty incredible. Okay, my friends, let's just start here. What goes around comes around. This is tank tracks with some kind of vehicle used to cut slabs to make walls in Peru and this happened all over the world using these high-tech vehicles. Long, 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 long ago and here's what else happened long, 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 long ago. Okay, this is what's happening long, long, long ago. No toes and then we have them in eroded conditions, in extreme eroded condition. Tish Egerton found a village of these. They have the heel bone is here, and that's the calcaneus tendinous strap that runs from the heel bone up to the tibia and surrounds that with tendon. And then this has springs built into it. We don't have springs. Totally different. But the heel was the same. You see the heel? Now, we're going to, and this, this is the stir uh, saddle or whatever they call it, where the bone comes down and sits on there. And then the no toe runs off in the front. And it had apparently, the ones I have have tibias, uh, fibias, set on the side and they just break right off. But that's where the bone cradled at the top. And then when you see this stuff, that's where blood is running off. That's where blood ran off between the, where the toes go down. And the toes are in here. See, they're inside. When it erodes out, you can see that they were in there. Now, like I say, Tish, well, let me show you. She's got a whole leg from one of them. All right, now, the, the no toes have bloody tissue within them. So ours are being somehow they're being powered by biology not by power packs and so forth that's my thinking however they were designing a whole batch of different types because uh, there is a ton of different styles of no toes everything is very very much up in the air now about what our past was like well, you see this that's a bone, that's a bone. This was where the foot was. She just walked up and picked it up off the ground. I believe these are some parts of the body as well. And then she found them all over the place. These, that's a bone. These are all bone scraps from the, the site. And, 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 and nobody's interested in looking at it. I mean, I tried contacting everybody. I said, this is an active site. We have another active site. Um, Tyson Carlson's working out on, uh, in Oregon. I have my site here, I'm working. Uh, uh, Greg uh, Morrison's working other sites. And we're doing it on our own because the people that, you know, normally you would expect would be very interested in this have no interest at all. Very hard. But, but, but the problem is, is this is so far over the edge. If these were monkeys or something, they'd be all over this. But these are what appear to be pre-human humans. And giant ones. This is some of the ones Tish just walked up and picked up. I think she picked that one right up out of where I showed you the, the water and the bones laying around. And and she has a ton of these things. It's absolutely stunning. 
And the beauty of hers is that they are in, mine are, are, I have a batch of different ones too, but mine are, for some reason, my area didn't, they didn't erode. They all just, everything stayed almost like it was when it was alive. Now, hers, they decayed, but they decayed in such a way that we can look inside of them and see, look at that, that looks like a, like a wing nut to me on a, sh on a pin. Now, uh, coming out of here, there's two metal, I think they're metal, slabs that come down, and then it has all these springs and gears and things, and all everything was inside originally, and then and it rode it away, but you can see there was toes. And see here? It's the same thing here. See this? Same thing here on mine as that. Only mine now, the toes are still inside here. I could see them when I look with the microscope, where this, the skin or whatever has folded away. But this was a foot just like that. See, there's another one. That's I, I think that might be a different style, but very similar. And of course that's the back of the foot and the pad comes way under. It, it really comes around big deep. And there's where the toes were. Of course they're eroding away. See, they, they had their own pads built in. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I, I think they call that gumite. And that's all the body parts from this giant. And it's everything is on the surface of the earth. So think about it that way. Here's what my feeling is, is there was a great flood. Every, all these giants drowned or whatever they did, starved to death. A lot of them, the feet are still stuck in the mud. This one here, it just happened to be completely on top of the surface. And all of the body parts turned to stone. That's what happens. After the flood, they, they turned to stone because the, they were soaked and uh, apparently they got rid of all of the rotting type of things went into solution and the fleshy parts and the tendons and the bones and all that stuff transitioned into stability to a degree. Bones you don't find. You just don't, well, here's what you find for bones. That's a bone. All right. Now, what do you see there? You see every bit of the bone, which would have been inside your body. And the only thing that now is the flesh and the tendons went on top of there. The uh, cartilage is still here, the periosteum, all the skin, the tunica, all of the, um, the uh, ligament attachment spots, the bone foramen. The only piece you got left here that's bone is that right there. That little bitty piece, you see it? That's the only bit left. And the reason is, is because bones in solution, they're, they're ferritin inside. It's an extremely mineralized, um, it's all minerals and so forth. And once that water soaks in there and start, you get all that into an aqueous, solution it starts to transition the bone and creates the blackness goes into there and it just takes over the bone it's called nucleophilic invasion and um, the molecules change they just they leave and then new ones come in and but it stabilizes in that process and you end up with a bone just exactly like the bone that would have been in your body no difference whatsoever they don't see them as bones, they see them as rocks and stone and mud and so forth, but it's not. All right, don't forget now, that's going to be the heel, and then there's this strap that runs up, you see? And that ran up to the, to, to the tendinous material that works its way up the leg. This powers the leg, the muscles. And the blood flowing through there feeds the muscle with the energy it needs to do the job that that robot was doing. Now, going back thousands of years, we saw that we, they had big machines here. I don't care what anybody says, they were here and they were making those walls that are in Peru and all these places that nobody can understand how they could have fit it so perfectly. Well, they were wet when they made them. So, and, and I'm saying that was when the flood was, and I'm saying that that's when the giants drowned and all of these giant creatures. Now, 
then going past that I'm saying that they had some kind of engineering starting to get close to what we're looking like now we're completely organic but back then it looks like they had springs and things inside let's take a look at that remember this bone remember which is a heel bone and remember that tendon that comes across all right so here we are is the heel bone there's that tendon strap runs up up at the top here is the saddle where the bone sat down like a bone coming down like this sitting in that saddle running up the leg now so then that would have <coughs> attached this to that now this is all biological however this is mechanical this is some kind of machinery I don't know if this was grown biologically or this was in the biology grew over the top of these things. But you can see there's little tabs and there's, there, there was a spring that ran up through this and it ends up coming up to here. And there's the little tab up there. Obviously there's some kind of pin in there. This, here's the way this worked, is the way I think it worked we need flexibility and you need it to return and flex and so forth well what happens is the toes were out here the toes came up and as they did that would twist this you see this so what do we have here we have a twisting open which is going to want to return and as it twists open it at a certain point it will start to engage this and that will twist open and that is all part of this it pulls this latch here this starts to pull in from that air gap here that you know there's some kind of gap in there that allows it to pull in because this pulled in so now you've got this spring then you've got this spring so you got a spring spring and then all of that pulls together and then it automatically wants to return that's all I can take out of this but I'm looking at at and this is a bumper this is that gumite stuff see this as this comes up it needs to bump it to something so this is the bumper so this bumps up this thing here starts to come up it bumps into this gushy layer pulls this along with it that pulls this in <laughs> it, you know it's a spring 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 type of thing and then it all springs back but she's th this is just unbelievably amazing to see it in this eroded condition where we can see the whole mechanism and to me that's a mechanism but it's biologically powered that's the key the one from Boston uh, whatever it is Boston Dynamics there that's fabulous but if you could power it on its own and it just I don't know maybe walked over and grabbed something off the earth and ate it and then it just kept walking and it never had to be powered that would be pretty cool and that's what we do <laughs> we are cool